floor several times, and I don't know why. Every time I come up in front of people, I'm very nervous, but I know the Lord has me on my heart. So, the passage on this sermon is passing through that we're all missionaries through Christ. That last night I've been on this verse several times and it's been a place where I'm at, that I asked the Lord, what do you want me to, to say, to preach about? And he, he came on my heart to tell me, listen to your heart, what I've been asking, telling you through. And so, all of us, we are mission through him that one day we are definitely going home to be with our Lord. Before that day, that we are, we are mission, missions through Christ. That He loves us very much. That He has a place for us, waiting for us before we go home. Um, the Lord, He's wonderful God. We sing holy. His name is holy. That we serve a, 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 a mighty God. That I thank God that I wake up every morning and praise His name and, and testify with other people that our journey through this life, that He is with us every day in our life. That this verse means a lot to me. So, it's going to be in John 14, 1 through 4. That this verse means a lot to me before my, my, before my grandmother went home. Our family was worried we were never going to see her again. But when the Lord told my grandmother, before she went home. Don't be worried. If you are a Christian through God, you know where we're going. That we don't have to worry where we're going. That we're all Christians. That that we are ready to go home. That through Christ, that we're our mission is not done yet. That when our mission is done, He will call us home, or the or He will blow that trumpet to come home. For, to blow that trumpet, that all of us will go home and worship His name. One through four, I'm John. Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Also in me, in my Father's house are many rooms, if it were not. So I have told you. I am, go I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be with I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. So, God has a wonderful place for us, waiting for us. That that He is there preparing a wonderful place for us. That for us, that we're going through things in our lives, that God is with us no matter what, that we have to tell His gospel what, has, that what has God has done for us before He takes us home, before that day, that we are missions through Him. 
that if I go or you go, we definitely know where we're heading, know where we're going. Because we don't know the next day in our lives. We don't know if we're going home right now. So, God loves us no matter what. And so, I have, I, God knows our problems in our lives, but He loves us no matter what. And I thank God that He died on the cross for us to wash our sins away. And I thank God that He doesn't push us. But I know He's right there. He's going to bite you, but He's not going to push you. Kind of like when He knocks at that door, you know, on the, on the pictures, that He doesn't have a doorknob on that side. He, he will let you. He will invite you into His life. So you can tell the Gospel what God has on your heart to go through your life to tell other people what God has done in your life so thank you for letting me do this on my heart Jesus is the one that God has glorified. You sold him out and let him be crucified. 
But God raised him from the dead. But now it's time to repent and turn to him. And toward the end of that story, they, they did bring him before the authorities. And they couldn't say much because here was the man who was lame and now walking. But Peter had the opportunity to say to them, there's salvation in no other name but the name of Jesus. There's no other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. A lot of people talk about, well, you just have to have faith in something. There's lots of ways to heaven. You can believe in the Hindu God or Islam or whatever. They're all the same. Well, they're not the same. And Jesus himself and the Word of God clearly points out that there's only one way to heaven, and it's through Jesus. That name. That name that heals, that raises the dead. That's the result that our sins are forgiven, that we have eternal life all through that name. is like Mike talked about that we're all on our way to heaven God's preparing a place for us he went to prepare a place and we'll be there soon but if there's any doubt in your mind if today is the day that we went home all you have to do is to talk to him in your heart ask him into your heart claim the name of Jesus for all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved and it's as simple as that. You believe it and you receive what he's done for us. Because it's already done. It's already paid for. It's ours. But we have to receive it. We have to take it and make it our own. And you do that by believing, by faith. I want you to stand up with me a minute. Give God thanks for all He's done for us. And if you want to walk and leap around and shout, that's okay too. But let's take a minute and praise God and thank you for all He's done for us. Father, we thank you that you love us, that you've met our needs, that you've surrounded us with loving kindness, that you go before us and behind us, and that goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life. We thank you for blessing. We thank you for our children, for our homes, for all the things you've given us. We commit our way to you and our lives to you in Jesus' name. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. If anyone needs to come and pray, we'd love to pray with you. But otherwise, we'll all say have a great week. We'll see you next Sunday. We'll be here Thursday night. So God bless you. Have a good week. Amen.